Good morning, folks. Both Enlil spirals are updated following the solar eruption and Earth-directed CME we saw yesterday. We've got two articles to share as well as we begin with the last 24 hours on our star and find a few surges at the active regions, filament action at the limb, but no further eruptions directed our way. We did begin to take a coronal hole stream, however, in the solar wind, plasma density spike in yellow, and then as it drops out, the faster solar wind in purple arrived. It produced a low-level geomagnetic storm that is already waning back. Now, we should expect them to return, however, because the CME pushed out by this eruption we saw yesterday is on its way. We had suggested it would impact over the weekend, looked at the widespread burst on coronagraphs, and now the data is in showing that both NASA and NOAA's Enlil spirals indicate that impact is likely to occur tonight. We'll be monitoring the solar wind today. This article made me smile. The shellish dance performed by the author's prose can't belie the reality of the situation. There are many kinds of pollution, and many more that block sunlight and cool the earth than there are those that they think warms the earth. Indeed, generalized reductions in pollution are expected to have the opposite effect most average people think about when they think about pollution and climate change. Excellent article here in line with many of Dr. Peratt's old papers. Indeed, the geophysical anomalies, the geomagnetic crustal anomalies, seem to be the preferred building zones of the ancients. Whether it's purely a crustal magnetic field anomaly or the enhanced conductivity profiles around things like volcanoes and fault lines, something drew them to those areas and to build structures that would stand the test of time. It's another good reminder that we built our modern world on the shoulders of the math, architecture, and philosophy of the ancients. So why do we tend to ignore their most important stories, the ones they never wanted to forget, the ones detailing the upheavals and energetic aspects of our planet? We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close, eyes on that solar wind, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.